So today we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite free-to-play units that I rarely ever get to use. But maybe finally we can. The Great Saiyan Man, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan here. With his easy A, he's now an STR type leader for 3 key, 100% stat boost. He greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and lowers attack and defense. He gets 3 key and attack defense 180% with an additional attack defense 20% with each attack performed up to 58%. Super class allies, 3 key and 30% support. And an additional attack defense, 10% for those that belong in Defenders of Justice or tournament participants. He has an additional attack defense, 58% when there's an extreme class enemy, which is good. There's many extreme class enemies, maybe not for the uh, toughest of toughest events, but um, that's still a majority of events. Extreme class enemies also get attack minus 20% and defense minus 58%. Launches a guaranteed additional super attack when facing only one enemy. And if you're facing two or more enemies, you can guard all attacks, which is very helpful for Super Battle Road. So we'll be using a double 23rd World Tournament Goku as the leader for the Earthbred Fighters leader. It's a 200% leader for the Great Saiyan Man Gohan. And his best linking partner is going to be the High School Gohan, which is a pretty good rotation if you ask me. Uh, we'll be going up against the Fighting Legend Freezer event, so let's jump into it. All right, and we got the perfect rotation for the Gohan. Of course, next to his linking partner is more than what we will ask, uh, which is more than what we can ask for. Um, we can lower attack and defense for a few of the phases for the Gohan, with the Gohan, which is really, really good. I'll just chuck him in the first slide. It's just the first one, Freezer. Can't be that bad. 219,000 defense to start things off. He has to do three attacks to be max stacked. So let's hope we can do that straight away. Remember, we're facing one enemy, which means that we get a guaranteed super attack. And then the hidden potential hopefully kicks in and then gets the third, right? So that's the one. And there's the second, 5 million. You can see it's building up quite a bit. The first super attack was kind of mediocre. Second one's all right. And we get the normal attack. Okay. Uh, that's that's fine. We get to um, be max stacked next turn. Better than not being max stacked at all. But this Gohan here is at 5 million attacks there. And he had to do no build up. Which is not good. Next to Great Saiyan Man Gohan. I was hoping that he at least be stronger. Technically he will be stronger than the Great Saiyan Man Gohan. But like Great Saiyan Man Gohan had no... They both have the same restriction versus extreme enemies. Um, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, I will say. Um, just looking at it straight away. Because uh, I really want like another Majin Buu Saga unit that could essentially replace High School Gohan in some circumstances. If I don't need High School Gohan, but it doesn't look like it's going to be this guy. Unless I'm facing two or more enemies all the time then the guard may be more useful than the uh, high damage reduction, but that's so few um, events. Uh, let's So now his defense stat is 346,000. That's max stack start a turn. And then we're just getting 50% um, every single time for the um, SA mechanic, which is getting him to like 700,000 plus defense on the double super. 6.2. That's his max attack stat. I actually find him quite mediocre. What? Um, yeah, Cell is way better. Cell is definitely way better. It's cool that you can triple super attack potentially, but it's not that Im like Im still not that impressive if he does triple super attack, which is so weird to me. I think he needed something else. Maybe on, maybe he needed massively raised. I don't know why he got shafted with that. Why he got the um, not greatly raised and Cell got the massively raised. Such a odd decision on their part. Uh, Cell. The only thing bad about Cell is that his team Cell Saga right now is not even that good. But like, he's got other teams. He's got artificial life forms, which is getting, which is still pretty good. So it kind of sucks. Um, I'm, not, I'm really not liking this Gohan at the moment. But maybe if he triple super attacks, he might change my mind. Find out here. Uh, let's put him in the first slot. 372,000. 
And this is with decent links as well, like... Like, prepare for better shocky speed left over is, like, not that bad. Not, like, impacting his stats that much when those are too activated. Let's have a look at his, uh, tanking capability. Probably gonna take, like, 100, 100, yeah. 100,000. That is lowering, after lowering attack as well. We're lowering his, uh, Freezer's attack by 20%. One... I guess the good thing is, if you can lower attack, I mean, he can lower attack quite a bit. I will give him credit for that. And he still can't triple super attack for me. Come on, man. Like, Goron's at 6 mil now. I would rather just deal with that and have some high damage reduction actually tank stuff. He has no guaranteed safety against the harder events. Uh, my recommendations for the hidden potential is just maximum dodge and then the rest additional just so you get a better chance at actually getting that um <laughs> that triple super attack because that's the only thing you can rely on to hopefully tank well enough surely this time he will triple super attack for us surely Six point six. One. You got the crit. Seven mil. I think if we, he can't even reach eight mil. Triple. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I can't even reach eight mil, man. Kind of on the same tier, I think, as like um Chi Chi, in my opinion. All right, another round. I want to get to the AGL phase and see if he can tank AGL hits. So we just have to get through this. Uh, we got a Doku mode with the Gohan here. So let's go and... Um See the damage. And then uh, the next time we see Goron, he will be tanking AGL Freezer hits. So this will definitely kill this Freezer. Won't see an additional. I think he needed to build up to 158%. I think that was probably the one thing I wish they could have done. I don't know how dramatic his defense and attacks that would be looking like with that kind of extra bonus, but... Something had to be changed. Never mind. I think we are going to die here. <laughs> if Goku could not take that type advantage, there's no way that Pan... Nah. No shot. Wow. I didn't want to use an item there or else Goran would look even more terrible. But that's going to wrap it up for today's showcase on the Gohan. Honestly, I was really expecting him to be a little bit better, but he just isn't. I think Cell trumps him in um the verses right there if you guys did enjoy today's video though don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video as always stay healthy stay safe stay busy peace